Hey guys, I'm bringing you another video here. I will start to upload videos once a week, probably around Sunday. And if you want to have a video sooner than that, drop a comment down below and let me know a system to try out and I will try it out. I'm only giving myself the week because the farther that we go with this, the more time it's going to take in order to come up with a new system. So with this one on the following splits, we will be doing a $200 buy-in. And just to give you a reference, uh, we will say if 17 spins, we can pick any one, just one, of the eight splits that are touching. And let's say it was 34. We can only pick on two of them. So let's say 32 and 35 was already picked and you don't want an overlap because overlapping is a bad idea uh, early on into the spins. You can easily pick the split bet with one number touching. It's not a method I like to use, but in a pinch, it gives you that extra number to be able to win on. So we're gonna pretend this is a fresh board. We can't see any numbers. And we have the number that we want to use now. I will take 17 and 18. And there are a few different ways to play on certain numbers anyway. Like I said, with 34, you can pick the one split bet touching instead of the two numbers touching. 19, we'll do 22, 23. And seven. I'll take four and five. I think I just hit one. Yep. We got an early win, $60 profit with a $200 buy in. Not doing too bad. So if you can hit early on, the better it is. And 23 being our last number, I'll take 21, 24. On 11, we have uh, 11 in particular will give you an extra thought to think about. So let's say the last four numbers were all red. If you want to bid double black, that's up to you. Or if you think red's going to come, you can bid double red. But I'm going to do what I like and keep the, oops, keep the red and black combination. Thirty-four, which really only gives us these two options and I think I'll take 32 35 and 22 oh, let's go with 25 26 And 25 is a winner. Nice. Got it on the fourth chip that time with a $70 profit. We have officially hit our goal. And if you can hear the dogs, I'm pretty sure they're barking at the mailman right now. So sorry about that. Oh, no need to continue. But I will make a few extra spins here. Or a few extra winning spins just to see where we land. I suggest walk away. Take your 50% uh, win bonus and be happy. Uh, 25, we'll do 22, 23. <clears throat> With 32, I'm going to do 35, 36. This way I have at least one top row in there instead of... Uh, two bottom row, two middle row. Thirty-three. 
27. I'll do the same. And seven. Uh, let's see here, we have four reds showing. So I'll take the double black, maybe increase my odds if a black number comes. Which it did, but not the one we were hoping for. A 15, we'll do 17, 18. And maybe I can even show you the alternate method behind this. Now with a 31, any of these three split bets will be overlapping somewhere. So actually even any four of the split bets will be overlapping anywhere. So to avoid overlap, we can bid 25, 28 or we can hope that 29 or 35 would be a jackpot for us. Uh, just for the sake of not overlapping, I will take the, uh, the two on the bottom. And now we're getting into a losing bid. Actually, if, if we won that one, we would still be down $15. So on eight, I will bid five and six. And 24, I'll take 20 and 21, or 26, 27 would also not be an overlap. And now we're getting to the point, if we hit anywhere on the right side, it very well could make us do an overlap, but we got our win. And we're back to a $10 session profit. Like I said, uh, the longer you play, the more likely it is to end up down. It's not, no system is impenetrable as far as losing. So here's the other option you have. We had the $100 profit, so we can keep this spin out there. And spin again, see where we land. 18. That's another win. I personally, uh, you can actually choose... To add another split bet, increase the odds again. I personally am not going to do that. If we have a winning bid, we're just going to leave it as is and try to get back up to our $100 win. And 10. There we go. We're up to 110 now. So both methods worked out well. Both methods can work out bad. At your own risk, play this style because there are lots of numbers to miss. And <clears throat> by the time you add the sixth bid, you are losing money. And then it's up to you if you want to reset or keep the number the numbers the same, adding chips only on losing bids. Be smart, be responsible, and good luck.